guys welcome back okay so today's video is basically one where I'm trying to talk myself out of buying a lot of these hot new releases that's coming out it's that time of year so a lot of brands are dropping really really pretty palettes stuff that I just look at and I'm like okay I want it <laughs> I'm buying that but you know I give myself pretty good leeway as far as purchasing makeup that I really, really like or want. I'm pretty lenient with myself when it comes to that because I love makeup and I love to buy it. I love to have it. I love to share it. But, you know, occasionally I'll kind of go through a phase where I'm like, you know what? You need to pump your brakes. You need to chill because you're doing too much. And not only that, you already have all of those colors that's in that palette you want <laughs> now granted when you have a larger makeup collection like I do that comes up quite a bit you know yeah I got those colors yeah I got those shades some palettes might come out with some specialty shimmers or you know a matte shadow that's kind of like a hard color to dupe stuff like that but for the most part you can basically dupe a palette if you have similar shades so that's what I'm doing today we're going to take a look at these hot palettes, look at my current collection already as it stands, and come up with some dupes, come up with some alternatives, come up with some reasons for me not to buy these palettes, okay? Because it's hard for your girl, <laughs> okay? Now, with all that being said, I have a lot of palettes in front of me because I got a lot of new palettes that I'm looking at right now that I need to try and dupe. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so let's take a look at this first palette that I'm looking at, which is a new launch from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, okay? I'm looking at it right now. I'm putting them on the screen for you guys to look at with me. And this palette is gorgeous. It's the Vivid Rose. It has pinks, purple vibe. It has a little bit of a blurple vibe to it, you know, with that He Loves Me Not shade some really pretty shimmers but yeah and look i'm gonna put a disclaimer too i am going to reserve the right to purchase some of these palettes if i just cannot help it okay <laughs> some of these palettes are so gorgeous that i can't resist but i'm gonna try okay now for this one the first thing i see when i look at it of course is the pinks it has just like a basic variation of pink the dark pink the mid-tone pink the light pink okay so i scooched over a little bit more just so i can have the palette we're talking about along with the palette that i want to talk about in frame so the first palette that i thought about was from lorella this is the sweet valentine palette and as you can see looking at this palette it has like the same feel same tones to it it has like that pinky purpley feel that love tone it even has like some of the blurple type shades in there even the gray tones because looking at the give me glow palette I see like kind of like a dusty mauvey gray in the corner so yeah this palette definitely gives me all the feels now the thing that I think would make the give me glow palette special of course their shadows are <laughs> just the bomb anyway but their shimmers they have some really really gorgeous shimmers and it looks like there might be some duo chromes in there i don't know i don't see no swatches yet but it looks like there might be some duo chromes in there so although there's some gorgeous shimmers in here i also wanted to just kind of you know show you guys <laughs> that i do have an extensive collection from give me glow of shimmers and mattes and things like that so i don't necessarily need to kind of fret over the shimmers that might be in that palette i'm looking at that kind of pinky peachy shimmer um which you know honestly one of these here would probably be good enough for me to kind of you know take care of that and then there's also that really pretty kind of plum type shimmer and i feel like this shade here is really really pretty from give me glow and that might scratch that itch for me. So, although I probably don't have an exact match for that palette, I have shadows that definitely will come close. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the new 
release from Melt Cosmetics. It is the Beetlejuice collection. This one also for me is like anything that Melt drops is like a no-brainer. I'm buying it. I like their quality, their packaging, their themes is very unique. They come out with really beautiful, bold, bright colors, unique shades as well that really, really draw me to their brand. But I'm going to try and pass on this one. I mean, I have on a green and purple eye look today, so clearly I don't need green and purple shadows. But their palette... The one that I really, really want is the green and purple one, which I think it's called Recently Deceased. And the other one, which is kind of like a red, gray toned palette is the Waiting Room, which really didn't call to me. But for that palette, I think I can kind of talk myself out of that one as well. So let's take a look at some of the palettes that <laughs> I pulled when looking at that purple and green palette. Now to me, the purples, really, really pretty. I think those are easily dupable from my collection. The greens, mm, I think I found some that come close. I don't have any exact matches I don't, not sure of. I think I can come close enough to say no. Now, the super duper bright lime green and that kind of pukey, like baby poop green. <laughs> are the ones that are really my main concern. Now, the first palette that I thought of initially was the Morphe 35M. And that's typically because whenever I think of like a palette that has purples and greens in it together, this is the palette that I think about um, because it has beautiful purples and some of those kind of unique grungy type greens. Now, as you can see, there's definitely the bright lime green shade in here as well as like the pukey, kind of baby poop green in there and then you have a variation of purple shades down here so although this is not an exact match I think it's close enough so if you have that palette might help you kind of hold off on the Beetlejuice <laughs> and melt is not cheap either <laughs> so now next I thought about the Be Perfect Carnival 3 yeah <laughs> Carnival 3 I'm not that familiar with this palette. Um, I love the two. That's one of my favorites as far as palettes go. But this one I haven't used yet. So not familiar with, you know, how it performs and everything. I would assume that it performs nicely just like the first one and the second one. But this palette as well, as you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous greens in here. Bright green, pukey greens, <laughs> beautiful array of purples in here, mattes and shimmers. Okay, so I definitely feel like I'm covered with this palette as well. Next, I have this Lick and Lash Beauty. This is their Playful palette. I always forget about this palette. And this palette is so gorgeous because of the mixtures of the greens and the purples and the blues. Now, while this is probably not an exact match as well to the Beetlejuice palette, I do feel like you have some beautiful purples in here. You have the bright green. You even have this kind of pukey green gold type shade, which is a shimmer. So very, very pretty. So you can get close with this palette as well. A couple of more palettes that have like beautiful purples in them that I feel like would definitely give me at least the matte shades, maybe even some of the shimmers are these ColourPop palettes, the Lilac You A Lot, as well as the It's My Pleasure. The It's My Pleasure is actually one of my favorite purple palettes. It is a bomb <laughs> purple palette, okay, for it to be from ColourPop. But as you can see, absolutely gorgeous purple shades in here, and they have some really pretty fancy shimmers in here as well to play with. So. These are also a good option if you already have these in your collection. Now, when looking at this palette, the thing that kind of gives me pause with duping it is that dark green shade because it's like a black-based green shimmer. Gorgeous, okay? Now, I do have a pretty decent selection of single shadows, as you guys know. So I did go through my single shadows and I pulled out some of the shimmers that I felt like would be close to and would suffice for me, 
super duper in this palette, okay? Now, I have shadows in here from Sydney Grace, from Shroud Cosmetics, from M Cosmetics. So, I have, as you can see, dark green, black-based green, kind of like a green, pukey, gold-type shimmer. Beautiful, beautiful magenta purple type shimmer and a deep dark purple type shimmer as well. So, yeah, I really don't feel like I'm lacking with this palette when I can definitely use these. Okay, now I said I wasn't going to swatch because this video is going to be long as I don't know what already. But I'll just swatch <laughs> these just a little bit so you can see what I mean by me not feeling like I'm lacking when it comes to the shimmers, okay? So that's the green, that's that magenta, that's that dark purple from M Cosmetics, I believe, and I believe that's from Shroud. So yeah, these will definitely hold me over for this palette. And if you don't have any singles, but you still really like that dark black based green, there is a dark green in the ABH, um, what is this, the Prism? The ABH Prism palette. It has this gorgeous dark black-based green in here. Really, really pretty. I love that shadow, <laughs> okay? That is gorgeous. So don't forget that if you have that. And then I was also thinking about the Natasha Denona Metropolis. Although I'm not sure if this green is quite dark enough, it's still a really, really pretty <laughs> green if you just want a dark black-based green. So, absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, so I think I'm covered. Okay, I got to speed this up, you guys, because I got way too many new releases to talk about. Now, just quickly, the red and gray tone palette that they have coming out, it made me think of my Dose of Colors blushing berry palette because this one has some really pretty reds and it also has that black in there it also made me think about a palette that i haven't used in quite a while this is my delancey flamboyance palette i was really drawn to this palette when it came out because of the beautiful reds in here it has some really nice pretty shimmers also this light shade up here as well as a black and this palette performs very nicely so made me think of this as well for the smokiness that's in that palette, the black, the gray, I thought about the Dose of Colors Smoky Soiree, <laughs> okay? Because this palette has some really gorgeous like shimmers in here, as well as that black. It has kind of like this, I don't know, what is that? Like a bricky toned brown here. So it made me think of this palette as well. Now, I couldn't think of red palettes that were in my collection without thinking about this Morphe 3503, okay? Because you guys know this palette has some serious reds in it. Serious reds, you know. I would say more so along this area here because it has like that deep, you know, deep dark burgundy look to it and feel to it. It even has this bright green in here, you know, going along with the theme of the green and purple palette. And then lastly, still kind of looking for those grays because there's a few grays and silvers in there. I pulled this Cara Beauty Dusk Till Dawn palette. Really pretty yellow palette. Had this for a while as well. I love the mixtures of colors in this palette because it's colorful. But I always remember that this last row down here, all gray tone, silver tone shades as well as a black. So this down here, I feel like that totally has me covered for <laughs> those grays in that palette. The shimmers, the mattes, all of that. So yeah, I think I'm cool on those and I can actually skip them. Now this next one here is actually kind of like a last minute ad. I saw this palette, which is the Violet Voss Forget Me Not palette. It's another one of their cute little fun sized palettes and I immediately was drawn to this. I was like, oh my gosh, that's pretty. You guys know I love blue. And it kind of has like that blue turquoise kind of, you know, just really beautiful vibe to it. It has like a beautiful kind of copper or penny shade that little light pink 
or peachy tone pop in there beautiful shimmers it looks like so yeah i was immediately drawn to that palette and i was like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no 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 you need to talk yourself out of it so my first thought when I looked at that palette was this face candy Atlantis palette okay I don't know if you guys remember shop hush okay but I used to uh, purchase from shop hush regularly and this was one of the brands that they carried face candy and this Atlantis palette honey <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with this when they came out with this. It was just right up my blue lover alley, okay? It is so pretty, so gorgeous. It has like those aqua tones to it, beautiful shimmers, that deep, deep blue. So yeah, I immediately thought of this palette when I saw that. You know, of course I have a copper shimmer shade somewhere. I have a light peachy shade somewhere, so not even worried about those, okay? I got it covered. When I saw that, I also thought about the ColourPop Blue Moon and the ColourPop Mar palettes. So let's take a quick look at these. And you guys, I definitely um, do these videos to help you guys as well. Maybe you're trying to not purchase as much makeup or maybe, you know, it's just not in your budget, okay, to purchase all this makeup. But maybe you have palettes that you forgot you had and this could be just like a little reminder for you like, hey, you got something that looks like that already so of course the blue moon <laughs> very very blue and has you know close to or close enough shades to that palette and this one the mar palette it has some of the like browns and like copper shades in here and it also has like some of the teal type blues so kind of mixes it up a bit definitely scratches that itch for me to where I'm like I don't need that palette even though it's super cute I need to use the palettes I got, okay? <laughs> and lastly, I pulled this Revolution palette. I actually got this not too long ago. This was the Forever Flawless Ice. Ugh. Now this palette, I think, almost has that palette covered, <laughs> you know, completely. Um, aside from like the coppery tone shimmer, of course. And like I said, I'm not worried about that. It even has like these light kind of peachy tan type shades in there. Your dark blues, your kind of like um, aqua type blues, I would say, in this palette. And this, you know, Revolution is very affordable. So yeah, just kind of dig through your palettes and see what you got, okay? Okay, next, let's talk about the other elephant in the room, which is the Mandalorian palette or the child palette from ColourPop, okay? That's the latest like hot palette. And I looked at it. I actually looked at it while it was still available and made a decision not to buy it. Now, out of all the palettes that I decided not to buy, that was one that I probably should have bought because that is actually a show that my husband and I watch together. We don't watch any shows or series or anything like that together, but that is one that we do watch together. So it kind of would have had, you know, some sentimental value to it had I picked it up. And I might still get it because from what I understand, it's coming back. <laughs> okay, so if it does, this is one that I might get. But only for sentimental reasons. Okay, so for the Mandalorian, the thing, really the only shade that kind of had me hung up was that super light shade in the middle. That super light kind of faded minty type green you know the main shade <laughs> that kind of had me hung up like I don't have that I don't have that so as I was digging through my collection I decided to go ahead and pull the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast palette okay because I knew there was some kind of like different shades different greens in there not your typical greens okay so as I opened this palette and took a look I noticed this green right here is very very close if not the same very very close okay to that shade where I'm like I don't have that that's very close honey and for me it's close enough okay it even has like some of the really pretty kind of like you know ready tone browns in here like it has in there some beautiful shimmers. This palette definitely has some gorgeous green tone shimmers. I hate this reflective background because you guys really can't even see the colors that well. You know what I mean? 
but there's some really pretty gorgeous reflective shimmers in here along with that one green that I was looking for so <laughs> I'm good okay <laughs> definitely good with this palette so if you have the avocado toast don't fret because you have similar shades unless you just wanted that palette now, I also was looking at my Makeup Geek single shadows because, you know, there's some kind of different interesting shades of green in here as well. And I was kind of looking at, I think, this one down here. This one would be somewhat close. I think maybe a little bit darker, maybe, you know, not as minty. But, you know, once again, close enough. I really, really like that shade. It's really pretty. And in my other Makeup Geek Singles palette, there's a nice array of really warm, earthy type browns in here also. So I feel like, you know, with the browns, the greens, the avocado toast, and it shimmers, I feel like if I just want that palette for the colors, I'm definitely covered for that. But like I said, it does have a little bit of sentimental value, so I still might pick it up. Now, we talked about Give Me Glow earlier with the Vivid Rose palette that they have coming out. I almost forgot that they also came out with this Sticky Bun palette. I don't even know if it's out yet or if that's something that's coming out in the future. It might be out already. Um, but I definitely knew that I wasn't going to buy that. As much as I love Give Me Glow shadows and as pretty as that palette is, I knew I was going to dupe it and talk myself out of it. <laughs> So, yeah, looking at that palette, first palette that I thought about, honestly, was this Juvia's Place Chocolates palette, okay? So, this is the first palette that came to mind when I looked at that palette because it's like, okay, there's that really deep dark brown, that beautiful kind of like coffee type brown, and then it has those unique pretty shimmers in there. And you guys know the chocolates from Juvia's Place has like the same type of feel. Some really pretty shimmers in here and everything. So this is a good start, okay, to duping out that palette. Now looking at that palette, I do see a shimmer. I can't see the name of it right here. Let me see if I can pull that, make it bigger. Sweet Cinnamon Latte. Now that shimmer looks like one that's going to kind of be difficult for me to dupe. I did pull my ColourPop what is this good as gold palette because this palette has like some seriously gorgeous shimmers in here and this one here really really it's so pretty you guys and this one reminded me of that shimmer from the give me glow palette that darker kind of shimmer it's just really really pretty so I felt like you know what I think that could probably cover that shimmer for me. Give me the same type of feels, you know. And then lastly, the other shade that kind of gave me pause was Icing Drip. <laughs> okay, Icing Drip is one of those where it's like, ooh, you know that silver is going to be popping from Give Me Glow. So I went ahead and pulled one of my Kaleidos palettes. This one is Futurism 2, I believe. Y'all know I can't see. But this is the Futurism 2, and I knew that they have a really gorgeous popping shimmer in here as well. Silver. This silver here, let me just do a quick swatch, is really, really pretty. <laughs> you see that? So I feel like, you know, for the most part, anything that the icing can bring, this silver would be good enough for me. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, that's pretty much it for me duping that palette. Now the next palette that you might be surprised I was actually eyeing is the Kylie Grinch palette. I don't know, it's something about that mixture of greens and browns and kind of like gray tones. It kind of spoke to me a little bit, okay? <laughs> but yeah, that definitely easy to talk myself out of. For one, it's probably already sold out if she did drop it. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a palette that I would reach for a lot, if ever. Um, so I did kind of look through my collection and I came across this Mayali Beauty um, Yaya palette. Yaya. <laughs> and this palette here, although it's not an exact dupe by any means, it still kind of gives me like the same type of feels with the greens and the browns. 
you know, with just some extra pops of color in here to give this palette actually a little bit more character. So I actually really like this palette better, but yeah, just looking at it, it kind of gave me like the same type of feels as far as like with the Kylie palette, it has that same kind of weird green that's like from the Mandalorian palette and the gray tones. I notice a lot of that lately, a lot of the cool tone, gray tone shades. I think that's going to be big in 2021. I also pulled, since there are like some kind of deep dark shimmer shades, gold type shimmer shades, I also pulled this LA Girl Keep It Playful palette. This one is called Foreplay. <laughs> and it looks like this. So it has some, you know, really pretty shimmers in there to play around with. It doesn't have like the deep dark brown shimmers, but of course I have that in my collection already. But it does kind of give me some of those warm tone browns um, that are mixed in with this cool tone palette to kind of give me the same feels. So yeah, I feel like with these two palettes combined, I pretty much get the same type of feel, you know. It's actually a little bit boring. <laughs> And I don't need that palette. So I think I have successfully talked myself out of that one. Now this next palette is from an indie brand called Rose Company Cosmetics. And I saw this palette teased um, on one of the indie brand, uh, you know, pages on Instagram. And I was like, that's pretty. That's really pretty. The blues, the golds, has a little pop of pink shimmer. It's pretty, okay? But I don't need it. <laughs> Okay, so my first thought when I saw that palette was, okay, really pretty blues, deep dark blue, pretty blue shimmers. So my first thought was the Nomad Lago Lake Como. <laughs> the Nomad Lake Como palette, okay. Um, and so yeah, I thought about this palette, really, really pretty, it has like deep dark blue, has beautiful sea blues. These shimmers are just absolutely amazing, super duper gorgeous. And when I saw that palette, I was like, okay, I got some pretty blues. I got some pretty blues like that. So I thought about that. Also, sticking with Nomad, I thought about their Orient Express. Okay, the Orient Express palette has some gorgeous blues in here as well. But this palette has some beautiful golds amazing gold tone shadows and shimmers what else do they have in there um they have that kind of like pink that looks like a glitter i don't see any swatches for this palette so i don't know if that's a glitter or not it looks like a glitter to me so i definitely don't care about that shade at all <laughs> i have plenty of glitter but if it is a pink shimmer this duochrome shimmer right here from this nomad palette is absolutely gorgeous um, and it looks like there's like a black and kind of like a brassy shimmer in there, a gray tone shimmer. So yeah, I think these two Nomad palettes really help out with a lot of those shades that I would need. I also thought about the Magic by Juvia's. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, so yeah, definitely has that pinky tone shimmer in here gorgeous gorgeous shimmers in here has some blue tone shadows this one down here this dark matte blue this beautiful kind of like blue and purple duochrome in here which they don't even have that but <laughs> i'm sitting here going goo goo gaga over shades it's not even in there this gold though beautiful beautiful gold shimmer so that covers that um but yeah i feel like i have enough shades between these three palettes to you know, kind of scratch that itch. Okay, you guys, let's do one that's going to be a little bit fun, a little bit exciting. This is the Natasha Denona Triochrome palette. Okay, now I went back and forth and back and forth regarding this palette. I said no because it's way too expensive. I have beautiful trichromes duo chromes all of that stuff already so i was like no and then what really made me say no was when i looked at the mattes and i was like those are some pretty basic muted mattes that go along with those beautiful shimmers you know so 
it was kind of easy for me to say no, but I still wanted it. You know, it was like a FOMO thing. It was like, okay, she did this palette. She put, you know, are those dual chrome? Is it just called trial trial chrome because there's three of them in there, or are these actual trial tri chrome? Are they tri chromes? Or trial chromes anyways but it was a FOMO thing you know it really was it was like okay you know everybody's getting it it's pretty should I try them out I haven't tried any multi chromes from her so and it was like girl knock it off $129 or whatever it is even with 20% off no no ma'am so I started digging through my collection <laughs> okay and so i'm noticing in that palette it looks like you know the top row it has some of those once again grungy kind of unique different type of green tone shades like baby pupe green yellow type shades muted gray tone purples you know just like a bunch of weird colors in there so but from what i understand they're extremely pigmented from me seeing them um people use them but just not really anything that flows my boat so looking for some of those colors I decided to pull out my violets by Juvia's now this palette here <laughs> the purples and violets in here beautiful extremely gorgeous nicely vivid colors you know beautiful mattes light mattes dark mattes mixtures of shimmers in here which is just really really pretty but it gives me the same type of feel of violets from this palette i also went ahead and pulled my violet boss sweet violet palette this is one of their bite-sized palettes like the one that we talked about earlier the blue one that i'm not gonna get <laughs> but this one also has some really really pretty um violet tone shades in it mattes as well as shimmers purples you know just really really gorgeous i think this definitely has me covered for any type of look that i would want to do using that palette you know so i thought that was good now for those kind of interesting grungy baby pukey greens i pulled my juvia's nomad palette <laughs> <laughs> because this palette is you know one of those interesting palettes that has like those different type of green shades different tones you know it has this beautiful yellow shade in here as well lighter kind of you know I don't know muted down yellow but it also has like you know absolutely gorgeous shimmer dark brown pukey pukey green tones you know interesting dark shimmer in here you know, it's it gives me a good enough feel, a good enough vibe mixed with these purple palettes to go along with that Natasha Denona feel. Now, for the fun part, okay? This part is one where if you don't really buy duochromes, multi-chromes, indie brands, singles, stuff like that, then you might kind of feel like, oh, I have to get it because I don't have any of those shades. But since I do purchase from different brands like Davina, you know, Cleona, um, JD Glow, you know, just all kind of different brands that do sell duo and multi-chromes. I do have some to dupe <laughs> this palette. So these are some of my singles that I pulled, multi-chromes, duo chromes just to kind of try to dupe out some of these shades from the Natasha Denona palette. So I have some Davina shadows. I have this one here from Cleona. I have a couple from Terra Moon. So let's just swatch these so I can show you guys why I'm not fiending for this palette. So these are my shadows from Davina. And it's so hard, you know, to show the duochrome, but I'm going to try. You can kind of see it there. You see that top one is pink and green. That second one is blue and purple and magenta. Ooh. And that last one is like blue and purple. I can't really get that one to flip. 
but it has like blue and purple yeah if I can twist my wrist around blue and purple so yeah these shades right here are why I'm not fiending over that Natasha Denona palette for $129 I can pass now let me swatch my two Terra Moon shadows as well as my Pleona so these two are Terra Moon And this one here is Cleona. So that's just some more shadows that give me, you know, that duochrominess that <laughs> is so exciting from her palette. Have I talked you guys out of any of these new releases yet? I kind of have a fear that I might be talking you out of some of the new releases, but talking you into some of the palettes that I already own. <laughs> so this might be a catch 22 video. You guys, we are trying to be good. We are trying to not buy, okay? Okay, so this next palette is a teaser palette from Alien Cosmetics. It's their holiday palette. It says coming soon. I don't have any swatches, anything like that, but it's really pretty I see those blues once again some gorgeous shimmers gray tones in there really light blue some burgundies as well as what looks like a black and maybe like a black burgundy tone shimmer can't really tell light white shimmer so it looks like shadows that I pretty much have in my collection but you know that tone of blue that color of blue once again made me think of the bh cosmetics blueberry palette blueberry working hard today okay <laughs> so yeah those same types of blues you know that same tone it has the light blue the dark blue kind of purpley tone blue up there but it also has like this black or is that black yeah really dark kind of shimmery shade like in that palette also these grays in here it's like and it also has like that bricky brown red tone brown up there so with a is that a shimmer yes a super light shimmer so this is almost a dupe for that alien cosmetics palette i didn't think it was so many shades in here that were similar but this is going to be my closest dupe for that palette I think you know there's a few more burgundies and burgundy shimmers in there so let's take a look and see what we have for that um because I think mostly everything else I have covered so I have my give me glow single shadows of course and I do have some like burgundy toned shadows in here which you know definitely would hit the mark for those I think you know if not come close that one up at the top looks really really dark so i'm sure i have that color somewhere <laughs> but i have those and then for that burgundy toned shimmer these are some of my jd glow singles and this one is kind of like a red burgundy toned shimmer which would suffice for me so i think that palette i actually have it covered and i can say no thank you to that palette and if i do want some more blues to kind of mix it up and you know play around with trying to dupe that palette i could pull my bh cosmetics bubblegum palette this palette has some absolutely gorgeous blues in here and the shimmers absolutely to die for so yeah i've got my blues covered for sure this palette gorgeous now this palette here you guys might be surprised that I have my eye on it because of the fact that I hate strange shapes when it comes to my pans different sizes different shapes just floating in midair really turns me off but the reason why I keep considering sugar pill palettes is because I don't have not a single sugar pill shadow or palette in my collection not one so i've never tried sugar peel and i don't want to spend like 10 20 dollars for one shadow so that's why their palettes are always like mm, just try me just you know ignore the crazy shapes just try me so this one i actually when i saw the color story i was like that's the one i'm gonna buy 
but I'm still trying to resist. Now it's really pretty. The pinks, the purples, the blues, it even got some like funky greens in there. Once again, those strange, weird, pukey tone greens. <laughs> what is up with that, okay? But yeah, so when I looked at this palette, you know, the first thing that draws me in is the blue, the pink, and the purple, of course. So I immediately thought about the new Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. <laughs> Because we know that this palette is heavy, heavy, heavy on the blues. But it also has some purples and pops of pink in here as well. As you can see, it has, you know, really pretty bright pink, light peachy tones, a whole array of blues in here. Um, and some deep, dark type, you know, purples and mixed in here as well. So I immediately thought about this because the colors the boldness the richness in this palette is to me it looks to be way richer way more bold than the shadows in this palette so this appeals to me more anyway so i definitely thought of that i also thought of my purple haze palette this one is from cara cara beauty because it has the pinks and the purples very very pretty palette as you can see nice array of pinks and purples in there so i thought of that that one is brighter and bolder as well and since i noticed that this palette is a little bit muted with the shades and i'm even looking at those swatches and they kind of remind me of the swatches from the natasha denona palette a little bit more muted than i like <sighs> but because of those pukey greens i pulled my viseart palette this is my dark matte because this palette, although it is colorful, is very muted. Very, very muted. So as you can see, it has those muted greens in there. And I would almost guess to say these two greens are very, very close to those two greens that is in the Sugar Pill palette. And this one definitely has the purples, the blues. There's no pink in here, but you know, it definitely has the muted feel to it. I think we've already seen from my collection that I got plenty of pinks to play with <laughs> so yeah this really you know just did it for me with the greens over here like girl you don't need that palette so if I do buy that palette you guys just know it's only because I do not own any sugar peel palettes or shadows and I really do want to try them I really do okay you guys we're on the home stretch I know it's a lot but listen I'm a YouTuber and I'm a beauty YouTuber and that's pretty much all I really like to do is look at makeup and decide which makeup I'm going to buy, okay? <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of palettes that catch my eye and even with all these palettes that I'm talking about, this does not even scratch the surface of all of the palettes that are coming out. So yeah, it's a lot, but I only have a few more. <laughs> so. This next one is going to be really quick because I only have one palette that I'm going to dupe it with, okay? This one is the Morphe Natural Flirt Palette, okay? Which is part of their holiday collection. And whenever brands come out with palettes like this, like pinky tone palettes, it just makes me think of Valentine's Day, not Christmas. Although, you know, Christmas is red and green. I just, I don't know, when they come out with pinky tone stuff with a splash of red, it just makes me think of Valentine's Day. So I only have one palette that I'm going to dupe it with, and honey, that's enough. <laughs> this is my P. Louise Love Tapes palette. And this thing is huge, you guys, okay? So I'm going to try and pick it up without dropping it. But yeah, this is my P. Louise Love Tapes palette. This was a gift given to me by my girl Lily, and it's like... <laughs> I don't even want to use it, but I'm definitely going to use it um, when Valentine's Day rolls around for show. Sure, okay, this palette is gorgeous and I'm sure this will run circles around that Morphe's palette. Okay, it has the reds, the pinks, the plums, you know, the magenta. It's just really, really gorgeous. And having this palette, I definitely don't need to buy that Morphe palette. Although it is really pretty and it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. And, you know, Morphe is more affordable. So it's really easy to just kind of swoop up one of those little Morphe palettes. But, yeah, I don't need that. 
very easy for me to talk myself out of that so yeah that's all I need okay you guys and so the last palette that I want to talk about today is one that I've been looking at and I was like oh that's really pretty hmm do I want to try their formula because I don't have anything by them either this is the Suva Beauty Magic Plus Ecstasy palette it looks like I don't know if it's magic and ecstasy magic ecstasy <laughs> But anywho, it's basically a rainbow palette with rainbow glitter in it and nothing fancy, nothing, you know, monumental, but it's really pretty and I kind of like the packaging as well. But you guys know I have plenty of palettes to keep me from buying a rainbow palette. Now, on the affordable side, I have here this Beauty Glazed Color Fusion palette. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you might remember when I tried this palette out, I was completely shocked. So shocked at how this palette performed. It was so nice, so easy to use, so pigmented. For it to be a cheaper brand, Beauty Glaze, I was like, whoa, okay. So, you know, if there's someone who is on a budget or whatever, definitely check out this palette if you like colorful palettes because it's actually quite surprising as far as how it performed. Very beautiful basic rainbow palette now another rainbow type palette i have is from the crayon case this is the box of crayons palette huge palette if you guys haven't noticed already i love really big colorful palettes i just do okay it's probably why i'm running out of room in my makeup storage collection so yeah this of course beautiful beautiful colorful palette i mean look at that look at the blues the greens the red the yellow so so pretty there's even a pink in here gorgeous shimmers as well but just for the basic rainbow feel and rainbow palette this is good enough for me there's not an orange in here but you can definitely mix your yellow and your red to make an orange if you like to mix and blend colors but yeah really really pretty great alternative for a rainbow palette and lastly I really could have just talked about this palette alone as a dupe this is my glam light uh, painters palette <laughs> you guys know this palette has all the colors in the rainbow and then some so so pretty you got your blue green yellow red orange purple yada yada also has a black beautiful light bright shade gold shimmer gorgeous shimmers in here as well but yeah this is really the only palette that I need <laughs> to dupe out that palette. But I kind of like to give you guys some options because I know we don't all have the same palettes. And you might not have this one, but you might be like, oh, I already have the box of crayons. Or, oh, I already have the beauty glaze, you know? So, another rainbow palette, easy dupe. And you might be saying to yourself, now wait a minute, KK, that palette has a whole row of glitters, okay, to go along with the rainbow shades. Do I look like I need any more glitter in my life? <laughs> no, I don't. And this is not even a fraction of the glitter that I have. This is just one drawer that I pulled out to show you guys. I have plenty of glitter. That's why I'm tired of getting glitter in my palettes. Because I don't need no glitter in my palettes. Okay? So, yeah. Got plenty of glitter to have me covered to dupe this palette. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Although it's really pretty, I think that I can easily talk myself out of buying it so that's it you guys i know it was a lot a lot of palettes to look at to go through to try and talk ourselves out of but let me know down in the comment section if you guys are thinking of buying these palettes if you've already bought them if they're on your black friday christmas list or if i talked you out of them <laughs> so let me know okay i really am curious Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like. If you like my content, definitely go ahead and subscribe and I will see you on my next video.